Hello, I'm here at the local Garden Grove Community Garden. Today's date is January 17th, 2013. I'm doing my update on how good my garden is growing in a square foot garden raised bed environment. Um, I'm a little late on my videos on my updates. Um, I did have a few zucchini plants, one in the very back box there and right here that did not survive that cold frost that we had. Um, it really killed a lot of even some of the winter stuff. Um, well, so far in this box I have dinosaur kale, spinach, several types of lettuce in this box right here mixed in with some potatoes that also were killed from the cold that we had last month. And then we have carrots, beets, beets are coming in really good, and I have some um, uh, green beans, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, peas, and that's also helping with nitrogen in the soil. Then back here I have four different colors of Swiss chard that I've learned, the, the saute and butter and some uh, onions, and then over there I have some tree kale. Um, that gets about 20 feet tall and right next to it is some at the bottom right there are some cabbages that I started from scratch or from seed then over here I'm growing some bok choy in place of the zucchini that was in there so far that's going really good then I have a bed of radishes then I did want to dig designate one box to grow um, strawberries in and so what I've done is I've grown strawberries and the onions together and I'm just gonna I opened it up in here so that way they can start growing all in there and just make one box dedicated to um, strawberries and onions and with the onions it also helps with a lot of the bugs they don't like the smell that the roots radiate or ra it radiates um, uh, smell and they don't like that so that will help with keeping a lot of them out of the strawberries and over here we have more cabbage I was going to try to grow them all in one area but it doesn't make sense when uh, there are bugs in here and if you put them all together you have a chance of the bugs going through and eating everything so if you spread them out it makes your chances of the growth to be a lot higher and uh, this is my favorite so far. It just keeps growing and growing and growing. It's dinosaur kale. And the leaves are pretty big on it and very healthy. And right next to it, I have some Swiss chard, some white Swiss chard that keeps growing pretty good. Um, and then, yeah, that's it for now. Today is really hot, too. Somehow, for uh, some reason, we're having a really, like, a summer like day in the middle of winter. So maybe that'll get some other stuff uh, sprouting a little bit better. All right, well, I'll try to continue to keep up on my updates on my videos. And uh, so far, everybody's cleaning up their spots and getting everything cleaned up. And the lady next to me, she was growing zucchini on the top of this trellis here. And under it, she has like a little garden garden under there it grows all kinds of stuff and I really like how she's been doing her stuff in there and um, all right well go ahead and check me out on YouTube under permaculture raised bed gardening and um, I will update my videos really soon and have a great day